Hey guys, today we're going to go ahead and talk about Humix real quick and how you can use it to start making income immediately with your video content. No longer do you need to wait for YouTube to go ahead and get your content and video monetized. Let's dig in. So many, when they look at this, are looking at the revenue earned and total plays and thinking they're out of whack from each other. But you have to think about the total plays versus YouTube is the content isn't front and center. In YouTube, the video is the only content, so you know that the user's focused on it. Whereas Humix is almost in support of content, but to give you a way to monetize your video content. So it is going to be a little bit less than what YouTube directly would pay you because the video is not the only content the person's taking in. And then add into that that you shrink it into the corner in a small out of the way form you just don't make the same money on plays as you would expect so your balance has to be a little bit different in your thought process you can import in from youtube and you can use it to help boost yourself though especially like in my case where getting monetized has been kind of a pain as youtube doesn't allow you in without watch hours and unless i make lots of short form way less useful content it's hard to reach that 3000 hours because even with my long form videos that i make here my current total time watched is only uh, just sub 1000 in this case you can go ahead and use this to monetize your content and build yourself some income there's lots of cool areas to look at with the green showing you the income from your own videos and then the blue is displayed from other people and shared as your videos playing on other people's content so you make money in many different ways so focusing on each one of these can help you increase your income you would obviously hope to have the most owned because you obviously make the most money shared would give you the next most and displayed means you're getting a smaller portion of somebody else's video so you would prefer not to have as much displayed from other people. If you're displaying a lot of other people's content, then you should look at it to see what you could make that would help you run on your content for that con for that specific need. As for overall, there's going to be a balance of the three every single time, and you'll see spikes for interesting uh, segments depending on how a day went. So like in that case, I showed or shared a lot on somebody else's website, I would bet. Which leads to different income levels based on the segment. You also can hit the monthly button and it'll load over to a monthly view to kind of give you a broader overview of data as opposed to a daily mix. This way you can kind of see how it's working over time. So you can see right around April, mine started to shift dramatically up in the owned video. That was twofold. So what I did is I focused on building content with Flickify, targeting the most viewed pages that I have. So starting with the most viewed content and downloading this Humix WordPress plugin. I was part of the testing side of the of the beta before it launched, and you can see how it skyrocketed my income by helping me place the perfect content right within the blog post using the plugin itself that plugin is new it's not the azoic plugin it's an actual humix plugin and again to showcase kind of the benefits that it has when you look at this data inside humix for video revenue you can see how my income was going before i instituted the plugin once i installed the plugin you can see the massive jump in earned in revenue from my own content with every single uh, piece of content as I built and added it on to slowly but surely all of my highest trafficked content, which is what's raised that owned income up dramatically versus what it was previous. So let's go ahead and download this plugin and get it in place. You can go to the WordPress plugin and download. This will give you the Humix plugin from within that Humix tab. And we'll go to my typical website where I've done most of this at, which is that carnivore garden site. And we can go institute so you can see this whole thing get set up. So we'll go down and we're going to have to go to plugins and then we're going to add new. And from here, we have to go ahead and click on upload and we're going to have to choose it. Once we choose that, then we will go ahead and upload and install. 
and activate this. So we can get this in place and activated and then we can go ahead and start. Once installed you'll see it actually has no settings. It's a straightforward player so you're actually going to not have any configuration settings or linking itself. You'll be able to just grab Humix IDs. It's a Gutenberg based plugin though that adds blocks. So now you can go make a post and inside the post you're going to go ahead and edit and from here what you're going to do is go down and you want to go at least probably f three or four or five paragraphs because you're trying to get below the first load on your website because you, otherwise you could have uh, layout implications and core web vitals problems. Once you're down there you can just do slash and then humix or you can search the blocks and find the humix block and you'll be able to choose auto select and just have it choose for you and you can set up additional settings or I use the Humix link and I go find a perfect match for my site itself. This way you can grab the URL and you can just paste it straight into here and then you can say done and you'll see it update and now when you go look at the front end for this post then you're gonna see it in action so you're going to scroll down and you're immediately going to see that video playing in that spot for you. And as you scroll down as usual, it'll move itself over into the side area. And this basically is giving you full control over what video you place where in your post. So if you were used to YouTube where you would put whatever video in someplace specifically, you could do that with your Humix videos now instead. Specifically targeting each post and where you would like them to show up and they keep playing in the sidebar so you get that uh, ad income coming in from the video and as you would expect when they hit the end they'll switch over and they'll move on to the next content so you'll get a countdown timer and it will move to the next one and that's how you can continue to increase your income if the content keeps playing and there's more uh, chances for ads to play as we move forward though we can uh, take a look at uh, adding it into the sidebar because you may want to have one that's in your sidebar so if you had a piece of content that didn't have one maybe it would be more beneficial to place it in the sidebar I still would place it down at least halfway down your sidebar because you're still trying to make sure it's going to load after that first initial page load to make sure your core web vital stays nice so you can go into appearance go to widgets or uh, sidebar however your theme shows it and inside here you can actually go in and just add it same way as you would the others it's a block you paste the URL and you can update it and now it'll show up in the sidebar depending on the post and you'll note I the sidebar that I built into this is not coded for any size so of course it's gonna make it wider on any sidebar that's built with sizing spaced in it'll just shrink and be the size it needs to. Same thing when you float down it's going to go ahead and move itself down into the sidebar and float which makes it an awesome way to give yourself a secondary video position possibly on desktop just in case. This is though how I took my income and skyrocketed it from what you see. My playbacks started to go ramp way higher because my videos were far more consistent in the video content people were looking at. This is why that tool is a must because those plays all happened because that plugin was making sure that that video loaded all the time in the content within that first third of the content as they loaded in to go look and interact with it. As for the controls, when you add the block itself, there's a few things you can set. So you can auto select a video where it'll just choose. So that could be any video or you speci specify one. Then you have controls to make it float or not float. Auto play when it comes on. Loop and come back and play that same video over and over again and if you want to add this video to other posts so it kind of depends on what your focus is for me I want to do a specific video targeted at a specific piece of content every time so that it's highly relevant that way a better chance of them watching it when it comes to and so if you do the add to other posts you can actually kind of choose how you want to so select it by a category and where it gets inserted into those into that category so if you had a specific video for a specific category of posts, this could be super valuable to insert across, you know, 300 posts instantaneously, getting you the ad income uh, for every single post within a category in a few moments notice.
and as you'd expect, the entirety of the Humix catalog is open for you, so you can search for anything and everything that could match your content, if you don't have a specific video that would work, to find as close a match to the content you want to add it to. This way, you help ensure that there's a better opportunity for somebody to sit and watch the entire video, as opposed to them seeing something that doesn't necessarily align to the content itself. So this way I can add it to Venus Flytraps and say under, you know, the the second paragraph under the middle of the page, under wherever, please go ahead and insert this and then skip anything that already has videos in content. And there you go. Now you've got that video being added to everything within that category. Super fast, super easy. Money coming in.